Hello, everyone. My name is Angel Huang. I'm a PhD student at Cornell University.、Um, in this short video, on behalf of my co-authors and myself, I would like to walk you through this research project, where we look into the effect of virtual background on video chats. So, in the past one and a half a year of the worldwide pandemic, at some point you probably have experienced a time where you have to make the decision of whether you are showing your real environment or whether you would pull up a virtual background、um, when you were having a video chat with other people. So our lab was very interested in this topic.、Um, we specifically took a closer look at how users form their decisions to apply virtual background, and also how this virtual background influences our perceptions towards other users in video chats. We started off by taking a look at some related work, and we did see some reasons why users would choose to use virtual background. They may have concerns for privacy issues.、Um, they may want to present themselves in a certain way in front of a certain group of audience, or they may be affected by、um, the perceived social closeness of themselves in relation to their audience. On the other hand, there were also a couple of theories explaining the effect of virtual background on how we perceive other people in video chats. Specifically, we as human users do tend to pick up a lot of information from our environment, and together with these cues, that is how we build up our way, our evaluation, our perception, our judgment toward other users on different types of computer-mediated platforms. So, building on top of these related work,、uh, we first conducted our first study.、Uh, we built this web prototype, which allows users to apply different virtual backgrounds and being able to view how themselves look like in front of、um, different virtual backgrounds. We specifically described to participants different scenarios where they may be using、um, a video chat. We then asked them.、Um, Whether they would use a virtual background and what kind of virtual background they would use in different scenarios. So first of all, we did see that participants tend to hold different types of motivation、um, to use virtual background when they were in different scenarios、uh, of video chats. They also tended to choose different types of virtual background when they were communicating with different groups of audience. And finally, when they were asked to choose virtual background in order to present different personality types, they did tend to use different types of images、um, to present themselves、um, in terms of their different characteristics and personal traits to their audience. So, with some understanding of how users form their decision to apply virtual background, we then move on to our second research question, looking at how virtual background influences our perceptions toward others in video chats. Specifically, we conducted a series of three experiments.、Um, we let participants view、um, some job interview videos, and they would rate these job candidates using Likert scales and to rate、um, their performance and their personalities in these job interview videos. Specifically, in experiment one, participants would either see these job interview videos、um, showing the real environment of these job candidates, or showing a,、uh, a couple of different virtual backgrounds of these job candidates. In experiment two, the video stimulus was the same,、um, but we follow up with a couple of questions, trying to understand、um, whether participants were influenced by the environment and the use of background、um, in in these、uh, in terms of how they rate these job candidates. And finally, in experiment three, we try to add an additional conditions where we were comparing whether there's any difference in terms of the use of virtual background,、um, comparing to just using a gray screen in a video chat. So what we found across the three experiments was this muting effect of virtual background. Essentially, what we see here is、um, an interaction effect between background types and the original ratings. 
So essentially, for candidates who receive very low ratings when they show their real environment, and also candidates who receive very high ratings when they show their real environment,、um, their ratings when applying a virtual background tend all to shift towards the mean level. So practically. What does it mean in terms of the effect of virtual backgrounds on users' perceptions towards others?、Um, essentially,、um, for candidates who receive very low ratings when they show their real environment, their ratings actually got increased when they apply virtual background. For candidates who received、um, just medium level ratings,、um, their ratings didn't really change much after applying virtual background. But for candidates who receive very high ratings when they were showing their real environment, their ratings when applying virtual background actually got decreased. This means、um, whether you're perceived as very positively or very negatively when you are showing your real environment, people's ratings for you as a candidate, as in users、um, in video chats, all tends to shift towards the mean level, the neutral level,、um, when you are presenting yourself in front of a virtual background. So, based on our findings and outcomes of these studies,、um, we first want to highlight that. Um, even when using the same piece of image, the effect of virtual backgrounds differs on、um, from individuals to individuals.、Um, specifically, we found this muting effect of virtual background, which shows that for those who receive more extreme ratings when they were、um, presenting themselves in front of their real environment, they tend to receive more neutral ratings after applying virtual background. On top of what we found, we also like to point out some limitations of the present. Work and also where future studies can further investigate.、Um, first of all, we want to emphasize that we use pretty short job interview videos in our video stimulus,、um, which we heavily built on the assumption of thin slicing effect. This means we basically assume participants were able to make judgment and evaluations of these candidates just based on a limited amount of information within a short period of time. Therefore, we would highly encourage future studies to investigate the effect of virtual background in more realistic settings and perhaps、um, across a longer period of time. But that being said, this comes to the end of this short video. If you have any questions for our research, feel free to reach out to us. And also, we hope、um, you can join us at、um, the CSCW conference this year and come chat with us about our research.、Um, we very much look forward to meet you at the conference. Thank you.